back to another video and today we're back for another FA Cup match day vlog where we play Man City at home. Playing Man City is always a difficult game. We know they won the treble last year. We played them away in December where we got a free all draw. Dejan Kulazewski got that last minute winner. But today we're at home. We've got that home advantage. We've started to pick up a little bit of form at home as well. So hopefully we can follow that. Onto the game today. Pep Guardiola really does struggle against Tottenham. He's still not managed to score a goal at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. So let's hope we can continue that storyline today and keep that clean sheet. But I don't know how likely that's going to be. Looking at Man City's team news, they finally got Kevin De Bruyne back from injury. He's been on fire since he's been back and he's going to be playing today. So we need to really watch out for him. The main man though, Erling Haaland is injured, so he's going to be missing for them. But they've got everyone else fit. There's so many players out there that we need to keep an eye on. They won't give us a break. So we need to keep an eye on every single one of them. 100% intensity. And for us, the international duties continue for Hyung Min Sun, Pape Sa and Basuma. So they're all still missing away competing for their respective countries. But the team news is pretty positive for us other than that. James Madison has been in training for a whole week. So hopefully he can come in, get an important 90 minutes in the tank. The main thing is though, we need to keep an eye that he doesn't pick up another knot because we know that he can be injury prone. So if he can get a full game in, that'll be huge for us. And we also know that Van der Ven and Romero will start. So that's a solid back line, which we definitely need for a game like this today. So it's a decent team. We're missing out on some of the big hitters like Sonny, but I'm still going into this game pretty confident. I think if Madison can come back and have a good start, that will be huge for us. And hopefully we can kick this game off strong. I'm going to say... Oh, my score prediction is going to be 3-2. I'm going to go for it, guys. Hopefully, we can kick on, go through to the fifth round of the FA Cup. If you guys go on to enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe with post notifications. Let's head up to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Thanks for coming, you Spurs. Maybe he'll only come on for half of the game, maybe in the second half, and then warm up for the Brentford game next week. But the defensive line's looking very strong with Romero and Van der Ven. We've got Pedro, Poro and Adogi covering wide. Decent midfield, decent attack. Werner starting again. Hopefully he can get his first goal for the club. With Man City though, they've mentioned De Bruyne, so I, I really didn't expect that coming. Maybe he picked up an injury in training. But their team, it, it just look, it shows for itself. It's, there's so much class in there and we need to really look out for them today. But I'm going to stay confident. It's difficult to be against a team like Man City. But like I said, they still haven't scored at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. So let's hope we can play a little bit of a deep line to start the game. Maybe catch them when they counter-attack, get an early goal and kick on from there. So fingers crossed we can go through to the fifth round. Come on, you Spurs. First chance of the game went to City and they managed to knock in a bit of a scramble in the box, but it was offside, so no goal. But we need to be careful because an early goal is not going to be good. Brennan Johnson, ah. And throw ball in. Out, out. No, not like this. Oh, God. Time to say that. Right, guys, half time at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Still a goalless draw currently. I believe if it's a draw at the end of the game, it's going to go to extra time and then penalties. But there's definitely some goals in this game. It's just a matter of time before they come. I'm sure once the teams tire out, we'll start to make some mistakes and then goals will come. But in this first half, they haven't been too much of a threat. To be honest, it's been pretty end to end. We've created chances. They have had to. From watching the game, I think we've had more of the ball. But like I say, when Man City are in front of goal, they're just so much more clinical than us. Bernard, he's been fast. He's been running at them. But he's had his typical wayward passes and shots. But we need someone to come on and be clinical. And I think James Madison is that man. But what worries me is that the Bruyne is also their star player who could come on in this second half. I think maybe in the 60th minute, Madison will come on. That's normally when Ange makes a substitution. So just keep an eye out for him. Hopefully hold off until then. Stay solid at the back. Going forward, Man City haven't been too much of a threat. Alvarez has been knocking, but Nicky van der Ven has shot him out every single time. So hopefully more of the same and we can progress through to the fifth round of the FA Cup. I'm going to stay confident and stay positive. Come on, you Spurs. Oh, good ball from Timo Werner. Go round him. Lucky Johnson. Good ball from Timo Werner. Oh, good ball from Jeremy Doku and Kevin De Bruyne are both on 25 minutes left at a time. Pep is not playing. 
18 minutes to go, it's the first start since October, November time. So let's hope he's fresh and he's ready to go. We need a push for this now, come on. Oh, I can save the Barrio. Oh. Is he on? Jeremy Doku, I could save the Barrio. Oh! He's dodging, oh. how? He's starting. I can't be given. Surely not. Surely not. The ball over. Dodgy, dodgy, gold. Everyone's getting fouled. I'll, I'll be shocked if that stands. Checking it now, VAR. Yeah, yeah. I don't believe that. The goal's given. I need to see that back to the ocean. But it looks so dodgy. There was legs getting, legs flying everywhere. Corey got knocked over. And that could be us out of the FA Cup with one minute to go. Time at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, Tottenham nil, Man City won with a very late goal from the corner, very dodgy goal as well. A bit of a shaky second half. There's no secret that Man City were probably the better side. They were creating more chances to the end. As soon as Doku came on as well, everything was going down that side, and De Bruyne was on the ball. He looked so much more comfortable. But saying that, we were still going at them and we were still pressing. But they were the better team and they did win. Saying that though, they were marginally the better team and they won, knocking us out of the FA Cup, meaning another year, another season with no trophy. So we move on to the Premier League now, focusing on that, it's all we're in. We got knocked out of Caribou, got knocked out of this, we need to focus on getting back into Champions League. Move on from there, we've got Brentford at home next Wednesday, which they're picking up a bit of form, Ivan Tony's back. So it's a put this game behind us now. It was unfortunate, the circumstances, I need to see the goal back to see if it was really a foul or not. From where I was sitting, it looked like it was, but we can't dwell on the chances in the past and, and what happened. That's gone now. The decision was made. So we move on, like I said, we're back here next Wednesday against Brentford where we'll be looking to pick up three points and close that gap on the top four and get in there where we belong. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, post notifications, don't miss out on any future videos this season. Until the next one, 